Hey guys, this is my 2019 uh, Christmas lights on the house. Um, so this year is very similar to last year. There are a few differences, um, and I'll get into that. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm out here in the street because once again the house is too long to fit in the camera. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, so here on the lamp post, um, I did the exact same thing as I did last year with the LED garland. This is actually just a regular, uh, uh set of garland that, um, my mom zip-tied, uh, LEDs to years ago. I think it's like a hundred or fifty, I think it's only fifty, uh, cool white or, no, warm white LEDs. Um, these LEDs are several years old, and they're still working. Not a single bulb has gone out. And the main difference with this this year is that the lamppost is now electrified. Um, last year I had a solar head on there uh, because the electric to the lamppost had been cut years ago. Turns out when they replaced the outlet outside, the outlet like right in, in that corner back there, behind that bush, uh, they didn't connect the uh, cable from the lamppost back to the outlet, so uh, why they did that I really don't know. They could It could have been that they just wanted a solar head and so they disconnected it but at the outlet, but I really don't know. Um, but yeah, the, the lamppost is electrified. Um, had some problems with water in the socket um, tripping the GFCI outlet, uh, but I fixed that. I put a new bulb in it. It's an LED bulb. Um, so yeah, and then this is the same bulb that's been on here for years. It's a little faded. It's a little messed up, so I think we'll have to get a new one. Um, but yeah, and uh, uh, these are plugged into the lamp post this year instead of being plugged into uh, just being with an extension cord. And sorry about the car going by, but uh, yeah, you can see right in there, plugged into like a current tap there. All right, so on the fence, we've got the um, white mini lights. This is the exact same set that I, these are the exact same two sets that I put on here last year. I got the set of 300. Um, this set used to go on the bush at the old house, the bush next to the uh, dryer vent, and then this is a set of 100. I think I put this one around a window somewhere at the old house. I actually really don't know what I did with this one. Um, but yeah. So these look really nice again this year. And then on the... Uh, the holly bushes back here, I got the uh, LED net light, the blue LED net light, once again left by the previous owners of the house, and these, they put these on there every year, so I did the same. Uh, I think there is one LED I noticed that was out when I put them out, but I can't find it now. Uh, that was the only problem I had with these, other than that, these have been, these still work perfectly fine, they're several years old now, I think. Um... So then on this tree, the Japanese maple, <clears throat> I got the uh, multicolored, multifunction lights. Um, they're set on in wave. And they go up to the lower branches and then the upper branches. I got the linear mounting technology LEDs. I did this last year. Um, it doesn't look as good this year, I think, because the, this tree has gotten really big. So, um, yeah. The linear ma the the uh, multi functions look okay, but the linear mounting technology LEDs look kind of sparse. But if you look at it from a distance, I guess it looks okay. Yeah, and I love the I love having the multi functions set on in wave. Uh, it's just such a nice nice function. I had them set on uh, chasing flash last year, but you know maybe I'll put them on combination. I don't know. Can't decide which function is my favorite. Um. So then next to the Japanese maple, I got the large deer, the animated one. Still working this year. I think this one is, this one's got to be over uh, 15 years old by now. Um, yeah, I replaced a lot of burned out bulbs. I just noticed there's one down there that I need to replace. I'll probably change that as soon as I'm done the video. Because I just bought a whole lot of 2.5 volt and 3.5 volt bulbs. But this one still works, um, you know motor still works. He still moves up and down. Kind of sluggish, but yeah, he's still going this year. So then, um, here, the addition window. So underneath the, the window, 
um, making a comeback this year are the random flashing multicolored icicle lights, three-way flashing. These are several years old. These are well over 15 years old. Um, used to put these in the bay window at the old house years ago, and then when my mom hated these, uh, she didn't want to put them in the bay window, so I put them on the fence by the gate of the old house. We moved, I put them here. So, these look very nice, flashing away happily. And then around the window itself, I got a set of red, green, and blue multifunctions set on the combination setting. They're currently going through their in-wave sequence. The in-wave sequence on the red, green, and blue isn't as nice as the multicolored. It's not as, it's more like immediate. It's not as like smooth, I think, like that. It looks like twinkling. On this one, it looks just like a chasing. But um, yeah, this is the newer of the two sets I have. And it's still working this year. So then around the door, the door that we never use, I got a set of green mini lights. And then around this window, I got a set of 25 LEDs, multicolored LEDs. This set, the, these green mini lights are actually relatively new. I think they're about two years old. These LEDs are like, I think, 10 years old now. Um, these were on the shed at the old house years ago. And then actually we originally got them because we were trying to replace the walkway C9s. Uh, but these were much shorter, so we didn't like that, so we just bought regular C9s, and my dad put these on the shed. And then I put them on a bush somewhere, and then I put them around the door, so these have been through it as well. But they're all still working. Um, roof, line of the, roof line of the house is um, outlined once again in icicle lights. Um, every single set that you see here was new last year. And then the set at the very end here is very old. It's about, I think, 10 years, maybe at least, at least, at least 10 years old. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it's pretty old. We used to put this one on the easement at the old house. Um, the big mass of holly bushes in front of the bay window got the net light, the incandescent net light, mini lights. These were once again left by the previous owners of this house. They put these net lights on this bush, so I put them on the bush as well. Um, they look very nice. I love how evenly spread they are. There aren't as, I don't think they're as nice as they were last year. Last year I got them really evenly spread. This year I didn't feel like I could have done better, but you know. So then around the bay window we got another set of multifunctions, of uh, red, green, and blue multifunctions. This set is, um, the older of the two sets. And this one I actually took to camp with me when I worked at that camp in Pennsylvania. Um, there's all like a lot of bulbs burnt out over the summer. I replaced every single, like almost every single blue bulb and almost every green bulb. So, yeah, got a lot of new bulbs in that one. It looks very nice. So, this is the older of the two sets. This one's about five or six years old. And then in the middle of the bay window, this is new. I have a vintage 1980s Joy Bright multifunction tree topper plaque. It's actually, it can be a tree topper or it can be just a wall plaque. I have it set on combination. It actually automatically goes to combination. Um, when you plug it in, it doesn't have memory like the multifunction lights around the window. Um, I think I mentioned these are set on the mix setting, which mixes a few different functions. Um, but this one is set on combination. Um, and basically what it is, this is actually a childhood item for me because, I don't know if you remember, there's a, a guy in my old neighborhood um, always used to put on the a really good Christmas display every year. He had really a lot of old items that could go back easily to the 70s and the 80s, um, like random flashing icicle lights, and he had two of these in his bay window, and they were each set on, I don't remember, I think they might have been set on in wave. Um, actually, I think the version he had was the different 16 function version, which had a lot of more fl fast, flashy functions. This one's the 8 function version or six function actually, with a uh, steady on and combination. But he had like one like up there and one down there and they were all like, they were just like doing their in wave. Um, and we used to call them firework lights. At least me and my sister called them firework lights or exploding circles. So I finally got one, got it off of eBay, and I decided to put it in my window. 
I like it, but it's not like it doesn't have the fast, flashy functions that I remember my neighbors. I think his had he definitely had different versions, so I'd like to find those. But this one's nice too. I like it. Um, so then, on the vinyl railing this year, instead of putting icicle lights on the vinyl railing like I did, I've done the past year, I did last year. I put a set of vintage '80s uh, multicolor mini lights. This is a set that I got from my grandpa years ago. They're very old. I replaced a number of burned out bulbs this year, but they still work. And then on the vinyl railing itself, I have a vintage 1970s, I believe, or yeah, 1970s, um, spinning light tree topper made by Reno Renown. I think that's how you pronounce it. Renown or Renown, I don't know. Um, looks like the red circuit isn't working, but, uh, I'll fix, or yellow isn't working. Um, but it's three-way flashing with the spinning lights around the outside and then a single flashing star in the middle. It's really nice. It's probably not rated for outdoor, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I didn't get it for very ch I got it for pretty cheap because one of the uh, sections was out. So, yeah. Around the main front door, we got the, um, stepladder's still there. We got the uh, green mini lights again. A set of 50 multicolored lights, mini lights around the bathroom window with the vintage 80s Woolworth star single flashing in the window um, and then down here we got that fiber optic Christmas tree shooting star thing that I can't get to work this year I'll have to get a new I think it just needs a new battery I'll see what I can do and then I got the little deer right here uh, this one didn't give me any trouble this year I had one burned up bulb just one so yeah and then I got the walkway C9s here, which aren't really walkway anymore because they're not at our walkway at the new house, but you know what I mean. But most of these bulbs are new. There are a few vintage ones. That's a slightly older one. I don't think it's, it might be like a 90s one, but this is a vintage painted on the inside ceramic one. This white one is pretty old. That one's a mess. That one's paint is coming off. It's painted on the outside. And then the two at the end, the blue and the red, are both painted on the inside, ceramic, the deep blue, and then the nice deep red. I love it. So, yeah. And then on this part of the house, underneath the windows, that's my mom's bathroom window and my parents' bedroom window. I got the blue uh, twinkling icicle lights, once again, here for another year. These used to go in the shed at the old house. I actually have grown to like these. You know, I when I got them, I said I did not like them because they were blue. I actually don't hate these anymore. I think they look really nice here. And they definitely balance out all the incandescent glow, the soft white. Um, so then, yeah, in the middle of the house, in the middle of the windows, we got the big star, the tube light star. This one, actually, one of the poles snapped this year. I don't know how that happened. It happened while it was in storage. I just fixed it with some duct tape and a cable tie. Um, but yeah, this star is definitely well over 10 years old now, and it's still going strong. And there you can see the icicle lights up there. And then we also got this projector up there. I think we had that last year. Uh, projecting these snowflakes swirling around. Pretty cool. Um, and then on this side of the house, I have some LEDs on the gutter. And the reason I did this is because we cut down the big tree over here a few weeks ago. So I thought, you know, they can see this side of the house now, so why not put some lights up there? If I had if I had more icicle lights, I would put those up there, but I didn't, so I just put this set of LEDs. And these are the ones that were formerly chasing, but I converted to steady burning. They're a little slickery, but, you know, they're not as bad as the net lights, I think. They look pretty good. At least that gives this house some lights back here, for the, this part of the house. So then, um... I do have one more part of the house to show you. Oh, I hate that though. It's a good thing I'm going back here because his owner just came out. That owner loves that dog to death. I hate that. Everyone hates that dog. It's just, it's, it's terrifying, honestly. And then on the back porch, I've got icicle lights around the entire porch this year. Well, not the entire porch, but, um, yeah, the set, the first set there 
This one's new. It was brand new, bought at Big Lots. It was actually a return, I think, because when I opened the box, the lights were all jumbled up and just, like, crammed in the box. But, you know, they all work. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, the second set here that's a little bit dimmer is a very old set. Actually, as old as the set... As old as the old set um, on the main house out, in, out front. And this one we used to hang on the easement above the front door at the old house. And then this set down here is a green wire set. The other two are white wire. And this one is the one that my grandma gave me that I put um, on the vinyl railing last year. So, yeah. Looks very nice. The only thing I'm upset about is that one set. The old set is a little bit dimmer, but, you know, I think it... You stand from way back here. You know, it doesn't look doesn't look half bad. So let's go out front. Hopefully the the dog is gone now. And hopefully the owner didn't hear me say that because he loves that dog, like I said, so much. Okay, yeah, it's gone. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the entire house. Oh, I actually did forget one thing. <laughs> the spiral trees. How could I forget the spiral trees? The spiral trees are our thing. So yeah, all four of the spiral trees are still working. Uh, I replaced every single burned out bulb in every single tree, so they're all completely 100% working. Um, the two, these are the two newer ones, and these are the two older ones. These two are like at least 10 years old, I think. These two are only about five or so. I don't know, I have to take a look at my videos, my old videos, because at the old house we only had these two in one of the videos I think I took, but we got these two a while ago as well, so, yeah. So that's, I think that's it. So I'm just going to give you a nice view of the house here. So yeah, like I said, I have items from the 1970s all the way up through today. Which I think is really cool. Alright, so let me go back out to the street. Hopefully no cars will come. So I can show you the house. Alright, so I think that's about it um, for this year's outdoor Christmas lights. Thank you for watching and more to come, and have a Merry Christmas.